damn license if you've got it. You've already paid for it. Like this. If you just start now, because it sounded like originally you were basically saying you would just start now and trying to find a use case for it. Um, I do something simple, like just getting used to handling different environments, different operating systems. Ha! Uh, separate some stuff and set so that you have uh, you know, your main Windows server and virtualized, and you, you feed in the three other clients and you learn how to push things. There was no admin. Windows admin. Or you go fudge Windows, you go towards Linux, and you're like, you know, I want to try this operating system. Oh, God! Is it that bad? <coughs> Why am I not getting affected by it? Because I, mean, I was inhaling it over here like it was a drug. Oh, my God. Been in and out of tech for about five years. You're my way. Bless you. Bless me. Adam, out of your way. Yeah, yeah, you're in my way. I mean, it's like a one-person kitchen. I know it is, and I'm cramming you in here. Be grateful. I mean, to an extent. This, need this. Okay, so I added a quarter cup of habanero beet, dehydrated habanero beets. Okay, hold on. Instead of flour. What did you do from stretch? Like, just, that's all you did? Like, I'm looking at it, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. It was, uh, questionable. Gotta put, like, some cyanide in there. So I put some flour uh -huh. and some habanero beet dehydrated powder. Mm -hmm. I will add the cyanide to yours when I butter the fucking bread and feed it to you. My God. What else do I need? It's on my list. God damn it, close my book. Yeah, it did. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've never used this machine before. Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Here, you want to be affected by it? Here, let me stir it up for you. <laughs> Or maybe it's your nose, I don't know. Whew. All right. That's actually, that's, that's okay. I'm waiting for him to go into a sneezing fit. I mean. Because sometimes that happens. <laughs> okay, so this. What's up? This is, it's Finish habaneros. Us. It's, it's, it's the high, well, okay. So I took a bunch of habaneros that I grew last year and I chopped them up and minced them up into like a fine gooey grossness. I shoved them in a dehydrator and then I added a bunch of sugar on top of that and I let them, instead of dehydrate, they just melted the sugar and turned into this gelatinous sweet habanero jelly. Oh, and it blew up the machine. No, it didn't. This machine right there. On the other machine. No, no. That was when I was making cookies. Ah. Uh... And that was the other one of those. That was like three days afterwards, but yeah. Oh, you have two. Yeah, I went and found one in the thrift store. It was awesome. And I'm like, this one still works. The other one still works, sort of. It just, I got to fix the motor. So anyway, so I then made a simple syrup out of the uh, that sugar habanero mixture. And then, I add, and then I boiled it down and added more sugar and added more sugar and added more sugar and basically made rock candy, which is what the bottom of this is. And there's some up top too. And I got to continue processing that. It's just been sitting there for a while. But then I took all of that and I stuck it on a parchment paper in the oven because it was awesome. lack of dust in there. Okay. Uh, and then I let it just dry out for a couple of days. And then once it was just dehydrated, at that point it was just dried out, dehydrated. <laughs> I now have sugar rock candy that I then stuck in a coffee grinder and ground it up into a fine misty powder. So I've got confectioner, habanero confectioner sugar. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's potent. And then this. Hey, Red. How you doing, buddy? This is uh, a buddy of mine out in Arizona. Uh, he may or may not show up here at some point. Sometimes he comes by and says, hi, what's up, dudes? Uh, so this uh, is, he gave me a mason jar of sugar that he dumped a bunch of minced up ghost peppers into. He has a vat like this, and he just took a mason jar and brought it to me at DreamHack Dallas. No, DreamHack yeah, DreamHack Dallas a couple years back. And I said, here you go, I brought you this awesome thing. I'm like, sweet! So I took that and dumped it into this big vat of sugar. And now I've got a lot of habanero. I'm sorry, that's ghost pepper stuff, so. Yeah. You're a wuss. So this tells me I need two tablespoons of sugar. So this is a tablespoon over here. So there's one. It's 
smells strange. That's habaneros. That's two. <coughs> there it goes. He's trying really hard to hold it in. Just like me. Okay, so that's the sugar, uh -huh. salt. Salt's gonna be fun because. With a tablespoon of salt or like, No, oh. a teaspoon. So this is scorpion pepper sea salt. I bought this when I was still living in Portland. So you mean to tell me every single ingredient, there's not one ingredient in here outside of the flour, never mind, that hasn't been infused with something prior. Yep. That's like definitely spicy. All right, so that's one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of the dry milk. On the bright note, you'll be crying like a baby already. I'm crying, runny nose, and still eating it. Yep. Okay, so that's that. One tablespoon of butter. Fortunately, I have some Vermont cultured butter right here. Unsalted, unsalted. Okay, so two ingredients that isn't designed to immediately kill you. That's because I don't have a cow. I was just feeding the cow peppers. This would be called blowhole bread. <laughs> I said a death loaf. Uh, tablespoon. Technomancer. Technomancer discovers modern kitchen. Hey, Raven Day. What's up, man? Uh. What are you talking about? I'm test subject number zero. I am patient zero. I've already eaten half the shit that I make. Everybody keeps like... Uh, futuristic food? Uh... No, I'm cooking death... Death food. It's all death food. Everything is death food. Like, the only thing that would make this even this awesomer is if we somehow had squid ink to make that whole thing black. Okay. Drink that! It's hot, really, really hot. Don't actually do that. Uh, I need this. I would grow yeast in peppers if I could. That would be awesome. I want to make a fermented pepper juice. Uh, da -da -da -da. What else do I got in here? Do I need to put anything else in here? Nope. That's the water. It's the yeast. Butter. Butter. Okay. Room temperature is high, blah, 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 If room temperature is high, above 65 degrees, for Just best results, cool the ingredients in the refrigerator before using. Use cold water. Well, shit. What's the hot water for? I was going to use it in here. I was going to your hot water be nice. Guess not. Maybe I should read the instructions first. Room temperature should be about 65 to 70 degrees. Eh, it's about that. About 65. All right then. No, 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 no. All right then. I'll drink that later. 